Uh, hi folks, it's Ivan here from Clarity. Um, let's look at how to update the table of contents in Word. And we'll go through a few of the kind of the, um, the more esoteric elements of the table of contents that might help you control your docs going forward. So let's flip over to Word and show how it works. Okay, so we're in the document here and we have our little table of contents in front of us. And he's showing level one and level two headings only. So how do you change this? Um, the references tab is where you want to go to first. Um, it's a bit mis mis slightly misleading, isn't it? References you think would mean other things anyway. And over here you have table of contents. Now, out of the box, so to speak, Word gives you, you know, different options, different kind of tables. But let's go down to the custom table of contents, which really means adjust or change. And this gives you um, this window here. So here's where it gets kind of interesting. You can do a few different things. Let's kind of start at the top. One is if you want to, you can turn off the page numbers. So you only see the actual section headings itself. You can also right align it or turn them off. So, you know, different things. And you have the option to choose different kind of what they call tab leaders, which are those dots and dashes you see that go from the uh, section title all the way to the um, the number itself. But kind of more interesting things or where people often get um, kind of frustrated is the different levels that appear in the document. So this is where you can control things here. So you can say, I only want to say level one headings, see the way it's changing automatically, or I want level twos or threes. It depends what you want. And um, in general, the larger the document, the less headings you want, because otherwise it becomes kind of overkill. But there's a few other things too. If you go to options, and excuse me, it, it's showing you the, all the, the styles which are used in a document. And at first glance, it doesn't appear very helpful, but what you can do is scroll down slowly, and there you go. There are the different you know, headings which are styled in a document itself. And you can change all of these levels if you want to. Probably not a good idea until you know how the whole thing kind of hangs together. But it's good to know where they are. And then you have the option then to, to modify things. So if you want to change, say, the appearance, like the font of heading ones, or let's do it here so we'll see what's going on. So I'll modify him. I'll make it bold, italics, and I'll change the color for some weird reason like this. Now it's, it's impossible to read to kind of orange and then do OK and do OK, get away out. And bingo, it's it's turned to orange. It's, I mean, it's it's hideous to look at, but you, you get the idea. So I'm going to say cancel and go backwards. So that's where we're at. Um, the reference tab, table of contents, and go down to custom table of contents and play around there. And um, well, that's what it is really. One last thing, you can choose different kind of templates over here. I forgot to mention that. So the class of distinctive. And the nice thing, of course, is that you can choose these if you want to. And then you can go in and you can modify them. So different options, they're all there in Word, they're kind of hidden away, um, and that's it. We have more tutorials about modifying your table of contents on the channel. So surf around, enjoy yourself, and um, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.